In this video, I will be unboxing and reviewing the Mayluck Portable Nebulizer CN69. There's a link in the description below where you can pick it up. I was not paid to do this and I was not given this unit. I bought it myself. Now I got this nebulizer to do a hydrogen peroxide nebulized experiment. I watched an interview, uh, Dr. Mercola interviewed Dr. Thomas Levy and they discussed the health benefits of nebulizing hydrogen peroxide. So I'll be doing a video of that in the future, uh, just my own personal experience. So if you wanna follow and just click subscribe, ring the bell, and you'll be notified of when that video becomes available. But let's go ahead and take a look at what's in the box. On the side here, you can see some of the specs. The sound level, I'll be giving you an example of how loud it is. Also the particle size. I didn't worry too much about that, um, but I did opt for the tabletop version instead of the handheld nebulizers. I wanted something with a little bit more power behind it, and it seemed to me like this would be a better way to go than have something big and bulky on my face for any period of time. Now, when I first got this, the box doesn't really give you an indication of what's inside it other than a compressor, so I was nervous, but it comes with this bag with the actual nebulizer in it. The big compressor is not the nebulizer. Now, in this bag, you have two masks a child size and an adult size mask and they're made out of pliable soft rubber and they'd be easy to wash we'll get to those in a minute this is the actual nebulizing unit and i'll show you how that works as well now i'll point out right here if you look down in the nebulizer cup there's a really small cone with a hole in it and this insert you want to make sure it slides on perfectly there's some locking tabs that just kind of friction close. And then up on the top, you have that knob that you can spin around, kind of like a Parmesan cheese wheel. If you have a Parmesan cheese container where you can shake out more or less, and that affects the flow. Next, you have an airline tube, and these are just friction fit ends. I'll show you those in a minute. Then you have this mouthpiece. Instead of putting the whole mask on, if you just want to inhale, and exhale through the same piece you can do that with that then you have the elastic band you only get one for two masks which i was kind of disappointed they should have put one for the child size and one for the adult size next up is the user manual and it's pretty straightforward on how it works and how to use it but it's worth going through just in case there's something that you were wondering or maybe you missed something in the setup the face mask just kind of friction fits right on there like that and I'll be using that for my hydrogen peroxide experiment. And this is probably the biggest part you wanna be careful because you can break the plastic off of the bottom of the nebulizer cup. It is a friction fit, so just take your time and push it on. And I don't really see any reason to take it off after that because you can stress the plastic out, but it just goes on like that. This is a bag of replacement air filters. These go onto the compressor itself right there as you can see uh, beneath that cover and then you have the air valve you connect the line and an on and off switch there's also a cutout on the side where you can hang your nebulizer cup and when you have the face mask attached to it it balances better i took me a while to figure that one out and again connecting the air line you want to be careful not to snap the plastic parts it was a snug fit, so it took a little bit of working to get it on right. Now this is attaching the elastic band to the face mask. The hard part of a shoelace and this elastic band is called an aglet. So you feed that through top and then bottom and pull it and you can do adjustments that way. But maybe you learned a new word today, aglet. That little hard thing on a shoelace has a name. So you just fit this onto the nebulizer cup like that. Now let's talk about how loud the compressor is. It's actually not that loud, but it does make noise. It's not whisper quiet by any means, but you would still hear the doorbell if you had it in the room. Now, I actually took a phone call on speakerphone while I had this running, and I was able to talk and be heard, and I could hear who was talking. So. It's doable, but they did ask where I was. It sound, they said it sounded like I was outside next to maybe a lawnmower or something. So it's not something you really want to have on 
while you're either watching TV or on the phone. I used a syringe to fill up the proper amount of solution. This is just saline solution for now. And it takes eight milliliters, which isn't much, but it was able to last. I went through about four milliliters in about 10 to 15 minutes. So uh, that should give you an idea of how long it takes and how much it pumps out in that time. So I'll switch it on and you'll see it actually running as you can see there and then I will turn the dial at the top with it which adjusts the volume of nebulized vapor just turn it to increase and decrease okay so I've got this on and it starts to slip I've had it on for a little over 10 minutes so when it seems too tight on this, it will start slipping and hanging. And I've used a very small amount of milliliters to do this uh, experiment. Also, I would recommend using chapstick while running this because my lips, despite the fact that saline solution is coming in, it's dehydrating my lips and they're feeling a bit sore. So that in a nutshell is this nebulizer. I'm happy with it. It's not the cheapest of the options, but it is the nicest, highly reviewed tabletop version within a decent price range. So if you want to hear about the hydrogen peroxide uh, nebulization experiment, I have a series of health conditions, one including a chronic lung inflammation, uh, which included biopsies and all kinds of doctor visits and CT scans just to figure out what was wrong with me. So they couldn't tell. They just said best case sarcoidosis is what they were best guess. So I'm going to be using this to see if that will help my blood oxygen levels increase and my lung inflammation go away as well as constant headaches that I suffer from. So if you want to watch those videos, click subscribe and ring the bell so you're notified. But let me know if you have any other questions about this product. Like I said, there's a link in the description below where you can pick it up. And please give me a like on this video. I work hard to make sure that these videos are informative and well done. And even if you have a comment or question, I'd love to hear it in the comment section. Thanks for watching and have a good day.